Hello everyone, I'm Matthew. Today we're going to do another shave video. This video is going to be a little bit of a fun video, not too serious, but uh, anyway, I've been talking about doing a 3D printed all shave, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and wet my face real quick. star of the show is going to be this three-piece 3D printed razor. You can see the knurling on it. Nice and grippy. So it's going to be like every other three-piece. You can just take it off. It's already got the threads on it. I'm going to be using the Wilkinson Sword blade. I always want to say Gillette because I've got a whole bunch of other Wilkinson Sword Gillettes. I'm gonna just load that right in the top cap without cutting my fingers. And I'm gonna check the blade alignment on it here. Since this is 3D printed, it's not super close on the tolerances. Oh yeah. That took about 20 minutes to print all three pieces. Then I'm going to be using this 3D printed bowl that I did. And that took, this was in a rough draft where the other one I did in a fine draft. Uh, rough draft, it was about 45 minutes. If you do it in the fine draft, it's about three and a half hours. So it's got a nice little area here that you can put your soap in. And that leads me up to the soap that we're going to be using. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I'm not going to butcher the name of it. I'm just going to say the wet earth. Oh yeah, it definitely smells like uh, right after a fresh rain. Nice and clean scent. Actually reminds me of something else I've used. Let me see. Is it, where is it here? Oh yeah, here it is. Don't bash me. It's not... Uh, it's similar but not the same but it does kind of remind you of the uh, summer storm by chisel face and then i also did a 3d printed brush handle with a phoenix knot and i can't remember how much time that took so let's go ahead and get the soap in the bowl i'm using a quarter of a teaspoon It doesn't sound like a lot. I need to actually go through one day and do a uh, lather from the tub, like they say. Maybe do a measurement on it and then see how much is used versus doing the, just scooping it. So I got that loaded in there. I'm gonna soak the brush. Oh, that reminds me. I got a birthday present from my son, Kyle. This was a real shocker. He, uh, took the logo off the back of my video and had a cup made. So that was pretty cool. Thank you, Kyle. <clears throat> How you guys been doing? Springtime here, so you never know if it's gonna snow one day or be 90 degrees or just rain. Last couple of days it's been raining a little bit. Need to add a little bit more water. So the weather's always hit and miss where I'm at. You just never know. You just have to dress in layers at this point of the year. It's kind of like that in the fall as well. Mm. I could walk outside right now and pretty much get this smell because it's really what it smells like. This would be something, I know this is a spring scent. Uh, I think this would be really enjoyable on a hot summer day when you're wishing it was cool and nice outside. So, there we go. That's what I'm gonna call good. Hmm. Oh yeah, before I forget the other thing, 
got a little mail call. I won't show the address from Mike. Thank you, Mike. He sent me some goodies with some razors and I mean razor blades and a couple samples. And he sent me the Godfather by uh, Vikings Blade. I'm going to give that a try. Thank you again very much. All right. Let's go ahead and get a little lather. Now, uh, right here, I got my arm twisted a little bit on a Kamasuri blade. And, uh, well, it got me. That's all I can say. <laughs> It wasn't too bad. I was uh, going against the grain, against my better judgment. So it's not reflected upon this awesome 3D printed razor. I've had this razor for a while. I printed it probably a year and a half ago now. I've used it a few times. It was just something for fun. You know how that goes. Everybody in this hobby wants to experiment and try new things and I just thought it would be kind of fun to do. Warm up the razor and go. Oh yeah. Listen to that. Two days worth of growth. She's just a singing. It's pretty good, eh? I won't quit my day job. It's like cutting through barbed wire. <laughs> now this blade does pretty good. It's just the fact that this is so light. And that blade's pretty thin, so it just makes a lot of noise. When you're used to shaving with heavy stainless razors and you get this, this thing's feather light. It's almost like a disposable razor. And then uh, on top of that, you know, it's plastic. So you're not wanting to put too much force on it. It did a pretty good job. First pass. <clears throat> I do like this handle. This is a variation of uh, the, one of the Omega bore brushes, their uh, handles. <clears throat> Go across the grain. That's that spot I got. Might just skip over that.
Don't worry, game changer. I still have a home for you. <laughs> I'm going to clean up with some cold water here and a washcloth. Get my face, my shirt probably be getting a bit wet. <clears throat> Almost time for a haircut. I do a, if you can pinch it, it's time to cut it. <laughs> a little bit of ice cube. Nice. <laughs> and I do have the matching splash. I'll put a note up here with all the uh, the scent profile. I can't remember what it was. And this uh, bottle does have the restrictor in it. That restrictor is going to come out. <laughs> Good idea, but I, I like it to go a little quicker than that. And this shave wouldn't be complete with a little scar jelly. It's nice. I love the way that feels. If you haven't tried that, you should. Uh, you should get a sample. They've got samples on there. I think it's ninety-nine cents or something like that. Excellent. All right. Well. I think that covers everything I was going to share with you guys today. I'm getting close to the 500 subscriber mark. I think I'm five away, give or take a few. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. What do you guys think? I hit 500 subscribers. Uh, comment below what you think I should give away on the 500 subscriber mark. If you've made it this far, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I thank you very much. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Have a good one.